Say your name and your position. Marcus Rucker, wide receiver. University of Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. So, so how's the uh, the mood coming in here now, going into a, a, a new week of practice, coming out of victory? Uh, it feels great, but you know we you can't you can't sit on it long because we got another game this week. So I mean, the win felt good for our first one, and plus it was at home, so it was good. How important was that first win for you all in terms of confidence? Well, basically, it's, we needed that to get our season going. I mean, because the first two weeks we felt kind of down after the losing, and we know we put a lot of work in it. So therefore, I mean, we just needed that win to get to get going. And UTEP, you're going to be um, ha facing Coach Price's father. Um, you know, has he said anything to you all? You know, about you know that. I mean, I, I asked him a question uh, yesterday about it. He was just, I mean, this is his first time, he say, and uh, he's looking forward to going against his dad and his brother. He think they're going to double team him. <laughs> <laughs> How bad do you think he wants to win this game? I mean, you know, if your family and coaching at different places, you got to have the bragging rights. So, therefore, if we win, then he can just talk, talk bad and down on them. Okay. You look forward to giving them the bragging rights. Oh, yes, sir. You guys ran the ball really well the other night. Can you talk about how that helps the passing game? I mean, being able to run like that. Well, as in Greg, Greg, Ray keep running the ball like that. I mean, we're gonna have great success as in passing because they're gonna have to start loading the box, like aiding the box. So therefore, we can get one-on-one -on -one coverage, and so it'd be a great thing to do. Speaking of that, that running game, uh, it, Tigers did not turn the ball over in the in the game, and Middle Tennessee State had four turnovers. Uh, your backs are holding on to the football, your receivers are not dropping, and quarterbacks aren't throwing interceptions. A little bit about, uh, is that part of the game plan, no mistakes in terms of turnover? I mean, uh, yeah, that goes in one of our goals. So we got a little goal list, and no turnovers is, is a goal. So therefore, if we have no turnovers, we have a great percentage chance of winning the game. A little bit about uh, how you feel that the offense has, has progressed here, and from game one, to game two, to game three, not going into Utah? Um, we're not at our best, but we keep working at it and we're going to get there. And as the whole offense, we coming together as a one. Still, we still find our identity. What What is the identity that you're looking for at the uh, University of Memphis offensively? Uh, basically a winning program and a, a spread offense that can't be stopped. Yeah, you you got you play a pretty big role in that as, a, as one of the go-to wide receivers. Right, I mean, it's, it's feel it's feel good to be that, but as a uh, Oliver wide receiver, we got still got to make plays. On, on a personal note, what is it like for you to, to uh, be in that starting unit when you run out on the field at home and you're representing your school and your city? Well, it feels great because I got my I got my family out there and I got the fans and the coaches feel feel great at me playing wide receiver and starting because I've been putting a lot of work in this spring and summer. So I mean, everything's falling in line. You guys seem to be the underdogs when you are facing UTEP, but yet you all seem to beat them when you play them. So can you talk about, you know, that, you know, in terms of being the underdog against a team that you all seem to beat, but in not having that, you know, table turn? Well, I feel that we can play to our ability. We can beat anybody. Like last year when we beat them, they, they was coming off a win of beating Houston, a ranked team, and came, came down here and, and we beat them, and I actually scored my first touchdown against UTEP. You remember the play? Yeah, Fade. Fade, tell, walk us through it, tell us a little bit about it. Well, coach, coach put me in, as in uh, Coach Helton put me in and say, uh, this is my chance, and Carlos let me go, and Will Hood just told me the ball. Mm -hmm. And he scored the feeling about when you crossed that line with Paul. I mean, it was a great feeling, and I, I mean, I had to act like I'd been there before, which I didn't, so. That's what I'm trying to get more. With Tiger Lane opening last week, can you just talk what, what that was like going through that, your reaction? It was long. It was long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it was great, and I heard like they're supposed to be putting more things onto it and to it. I mean, it's, it's great for the fans and everybody else to come out and just to show respect. How did you get your warm up in on the walk to the stadium? Huh? Oh, yeah, 900 yards. <laughs> <laughs> But you won't mind making that walk. You guys keep wanting to come home, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we keep doing the same thing, and we'll have more fans every week. A little bit about this trip now. This is like a 1,000 miles out to uh, you're basically going in the middle of the desert, and then one stone's throw away from Mexico, and this will be the first time for most of these guys to make a trip like that. 
Uh, it'll be actually it'll be the first time for me too. I've never been to UTEP, so probably great experience for all of us and just different things, different things down there that we don't have here. You got your first one on the road. How important would it be to get the first uh, first one at home? How important would it be to get that first one on the road? I mean, it'd be great because then we'll have a little streak going on, and we'll as as us and the team, we'll try to keep it going and just progress every week. I think it's a kickoff at eight o'clock Memphis time. Is it hard to like? I mean. Set around all day on Saturday. What's that? I mean, you guys have played at 11 a.m. Now you're going to be playing at eight. I mean, what's that like? Well, me and a couple of guys talked about that once before. I mean, the early game is the best. I mean, because as in the late game, you just got to sit around and wait, and you know, just all your momentum just building up, just ready to play the game, and you still got to wait. Is that an adjust? Is that a difficult adjustment for this particular team to make? You think? Uh, not exactly. I mean, we take all all the teams the same. We play the same. Just got to get better. It's a chance to even your conference record now at one and one, and that could, going five hundred this uh, part of the season that would be very good for you. Right, because uh, you know last year we had a bad start and we had a bad start the first two games, but we come along. So therefore, I mean, you just stick as a team and just fight through everything, all the adversity, and we'll be able to make it.